Hello, lovely people. Welcome to the Geekybit. I am Penge. Welcome back to Software Inc. So last time out, we put this second floor or first floor, but is this the ground floor and that's the first floor? Is that the first floor and this the second floor? I don't know. We put on another, that'll do, another floor onto the building. So yes, look, there are now two floors. There's the ground floor and then there's this floor here. So there's nothing in it though. Well, there's a, there's a staff room and some restroomy toilety type bits, but there's no actual desk or anything else in there at the moment. But it's set up, you know, it's sitting there, it's pending. Now I've had a lot of of comments on the previous video so thank you very much uh, the first thing is whenever i uh, keep talking about this i keep saying oh that nice effect where it's sort of zoom when you zoom out and everything looks kind of teeny tiny as though it's like little models uh, apparently it's called tilt shift so thank you emrys for pointing that out i didn't know that and um yes a few people have pointed out some things that i should be doing now when i've been making software when i've been actually making a release for a thing I've just been going, right, I'll stick it onto that operating system. Apparently, you can pick many operating systems. I was entirely unaware that you could pick many operating systems. And then you can port things onto different operating systems. So I think we might do this with Antivirus Geek. Because the quality is good. There are still some active users. And uh, yeah, I think that might be quite good because you can port it. And we only sold 8,000. We sold 8,000 units in total compared to the 20 whatever it is thousand of the other three software packages that we've put together. So um, yeah, not particularly brilliant. So I thought if we port it, now this obviously, if you're not familiar with uh, the word of computing, port might not mean something to you or, or it might mean a place where boats go or it might mean a lovely drink <laughs> that you have with cheese. But no, this means you, uh, you sort of port it out so it can run on different systems. So I ran, I set that to run on whatever it was, operating system one, we can now port it and say, well, now let's get this same bit of software and let's allow it to run on operating systems two, three, four, and five, say. So if we press port, now I don't know how this is going to work. Also, uh, let's go down a floor. There we go. So let's press port and see how this works. Now I don't know how this works. So let's just wing it, shall we? Four programmers, one artist. Okay, rock and roll. So now can we just basically, can we pick all of these? Can we just port it to everything? But what about users? Let's click that. Uh, not units sold. Active users. Yes, we don't want to port it to anything with zero users because that, that is a bit stupid, isn't it? So quality is great. Quality is good. Quality is great. Why don't we do it for those five? In fact, those six. Why not? One, two, three, six. I mean, this might be, this might be a terrible idea. This might go horribly wrong. Exporting it for all those might be an absolute disaster. But do you know what? Why the heck not? Let's just do it, shall we? So we'll pay some license fees. Pfft, whatever. We've got 2.2 million. I can afford these piffly license fees. So let's port it to that. Then we'll have a load of extra users. So, okay, let's play with this. So porting antivirus, porting to Pen X. So I think at the minute, everyone's gone home. I think it's coming up to four o'clock. Everyone's cleared off home. That's absolutely fine. Right, everyone can come in and then get on with some work. Now we do have a cleaner. We have a cleaner, a proper actual permanent cleaner who lives in the office, who just sort of poodles about and does stuff. Also, someone else pointed out their parking was slightly bizarre. It looks okay now. Uh, oh, hang on, hang on, pause, 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 pause. Have they finished doing that porting stuff already? Have they finished that already? Oh, crikeys, okay. Well, I, I thought that would take days and days and days. Okay, um... Right, I, I need to I need to order some things then. <laughs> I thought that'd take days. I'm I'm slightly surprised. Okay, so now do I port that? Do I order copies of that now? So is that now ported to run on lots of things? Details, uh, operating systems, right? Lots of them. Okay, now what if I then go to order copies? Oh no, not order copies. Start printing because I make my own, can't I? Don't limit anything at the moment. Uh, yeah, that's a bit late in the day now. That's a bit annoying, isn't it? But yes, the mysterious printer will keep printing things. It'll keep making copies. Even there's no one in the room. There's no one in the entire building. Yet mysteriously, the printer prints things out, puts things in boxes, and puts the boxes on a pallet. Mysterious. Okay, so this might be this this might be stupid because it might not work because there's no actual marketing going on. I don't I don't know how this is going to function at all. But uh, but whatever, we'll give it a go. So now let us call a courier. The courier can come and take away those copies. And that's absolutely fine. So let's speed time on because the courier needs to come in. Right, there we go. And let's just hurry time on. Now, pause a second. Now, we made some money yesterday. We made 85 grand in sales. Okay. Well, that's a surprise. 
Uh, right, good. Let's let's do that again. Let's have a uh, let's have a date. Right, everyone's in. Everyone's kind of in, but they're not doing anything. How about then we port this? What about we port Audio Geek? Because the quality of that was okay, and it's relatively modern. The one thing I don't want, I don't want to do the old ones. I don't want to do Finance Geek and Photo Geek because they're quite old. That's like five years old, Finance Geek. That's ancient tech. Uh, at least Audio Geek is relatively modern. So let's port that as well. Nice, easy way to make some monies. Uh, let's pick that as well. There's no license because I presume we already bought that, I guess, for something else. So I bought the license to use that. So okie doke. Uh, do some porting of that, my good folk. There we go. Speed that on. Uh, yep, they're porting it. Oh, yes, yeah, so they do it very quickly. They do it very quickly indeed. I thought it would take a long time, but okay, fine. Bot OS 5, diddly diddly do, frame OS 2, and they've all gone home for the day. However, we can indeed call the courier. Let's come and take those boxes away. Let's hurry to the next day. Uh, oh no, we can't hurry to the next day now because the courier has to be here. Right, now we can hurry to the next day. Okay, so we made a little bit more monies. 67, 20 in... Uh, 20 in distribution, so we made 12 grand in profit yesterday. Not very much, is it, for the company of this size? I think we might need to do something a bit bigger. But one thing I do want to do is I'm going to build a server. I'm going to build some server stuff because I want that. So you can go down into the basement. Now, this looks, this looks very confusing because I'm in a basement. I don't know where anything is in the basement. So I'm a little bit befuddled by this. Okay, so there's the lift. So if we go into build mode and then go down into the basement. Right, there we go. We've got an actual grid. That helps. Because if you build a server, an in-house server, you can house stuff on it like uh, sort of, uh, I don't know what it's like, version control and stuff like that. So I think that's probably a useful thing. The only thing is, where are you supposed to furniture inside your rooms? Uh, okay, where's where's the lift? Can I see where the lift is? That'd be useful. So it's sort of uh, there-ish. Uh, can I, hang on, can I click on it and it shows a thing? Ah, there it is. Right, okay, so now I need to build a room down here, do I? Uh, okay, well, let's just let's take that out. Let's just have a rectangular room for now. Let's just have nothing very exciting. Uh, that'll do. Because I don't really know what I'm doing with this at the minute. So, or should we, hang on, let's have a corridor. Because we might need a corridor bit under the ground. Like that. And then let's have... A room like that. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't know what I'm doing. It's not accessible. Yes, indeed. We need an elevator. So let's put one of those in. So, uh, yeah, that direction. Splendid. And then uh, some doors to go through here. So do you want... Yeah, we want big doors. Why not? Let's put a big door in the... Let's put it on the edge. Let's put it just as you come out of the lift. Just there. Okay, so that's good. Uh, and then we want to put in some stuff. So there was a server somewhere along here. Where is it? Somewhere along here. There, so a medium server. So there's a small server, a normal computer, but with more internet. Or a medium server. So they, yeah, they that just basically lasts longer. It's more durable, the medium server. So uh, it must place, be placed at the indicated points. Okay, what are the indicated points? points. Uh, okay, right. How does one go about setting up a server then? Does it need to go on a table? It looks like it might. It's kind of hovering in the air. So maybe it needs to go on a table. Let's just drop a table into the corner. Uh, or oh, might need some lights down here. That might help. <laughs> uh, fluorescent lamps. Everyone hates fluorescent. Can we do have to have fluorescent lamps? Wall lamps. Just a lamp. Like that. Fluorescent lamps seem like the thing to do downstairs, though, in the complete dark. But they're, they're probably nicer. So, yeah, that'll do. Let's just drop one of the... Let's do a shift click as well. Uh, one there. Uh, one there. One there. And one there. That kind of looks about right. Yay! Okay, right. Really drab, terrible room. Don't really care. So, now does it go on the... Ah! Would you like to begin the server tutorial? I would love to. 
Open the server wiring interface. Oh, goodness me. Open the server wiring interface by clicking the wire button. In this mode, you can connect or disconnect servers by clicking on a server and then on another server. You can also select all, also select all the servers you want to connect while holding shift or control and then right click and select connect servers. When servers are connected, one of them will be the main server of the group and will handle all wiring. All load you put on a server group will be distributed among every server in the group. If one server in a group breaks down, the entire group stops working. Try exiting building mode and open the server window. Uh, okay. Where's the server window? Down here somewhere. Uh, okay. Can I build another server first? I want to put another one in now, just because you can connect them together, and that seems like a fun thing to do, and I've got the money to do it, so why the heck not? Okay, yes, there. And then if I click, hang on, what was it? That one. Click that and that, like that. Is, is that connected now? I've no idea. I thought I was supposed to be able to select more than... Oh, oh, hang on a minute. Oh, hang on. Oh, I've broken it. Hang on. Okay, right. So I've the wire thing has gone, but now there's a bit that says connect server. So I've done that. Now is that... Does that mean they're connected? Right, okay, there we go. So it was that. It was that. Uh, okay, right, there we go. Well, that little break also gave me a chance to have a drink, so that was quite nice. Okay, so we've got two servers done. So it says exit build mode and press servers. From here, you can manage your servers and check if they are overheating. Well, I imagine they might be because there's no aircon in that room just yet. If you select a server group, you can see a list of all processes running on that server group. You can then re-delegate those processes to other servers by pressing re-delegate selected. Um, okay. I don't know what that means. Action, select fallback. I don't know what any of that means. If you select a server group, you can see a list of all processes running on that server group. Okay, there is nothing running on it. You can then re-delegate those processes to other services. Okay, well, I don't need to do that because there's nothing running on them at the moment. So, okie doke. If you destroy a server group completely, all processes will be unsupported, which can have major consequences. If this happens, you should click the View Unsupported Processes button and re-delegate all processes to other servers. Oh my goodness, what have I done? I have built some servers and now I am confused. Okay, so are they overheating at the minute? What's the, what's the, how do I know what the temperature is? He said about knowing about overheating and I can't see anything to do with that. However, I suspect they are going to overheat. So they are going to need some sort of air conditioning type thing. Central heating, an AC unit. However, can I put one of those downstairs? Uh, has to be placed above ground. Industrial strength air conditioning unit to cool down entire building complexes. So how do I cool down... Oh, this fan was designed to cool a room down to accommodate servers, i.e. not people. Ah, it's a giant fan. Okay, right. Okay, that's probably better then. They'll keep this room nice and cool with that kind of rubbishy server thing. Um, I'm not even going to bother sort of decoring that room. It can just sit in the basement and just look terrible and be a bit grim, <laughs> be a bit miserable. That is absolutely fine. Okay, so they can sit there. That's that's good. I think that's good. So we've built a server room. Yay. Uh, now, now we need to... Uh, oh, yeah, they can finish. Uh, have I called a courier? Have I called a courier already? I can't remember. Let's call a courier to come and pick up all these things. That's fine. And then courier can arrive, pick up all those things. Right, everyone can finish doing that work on those things. Right, now pause. And now we want to go to the the thing, that. And then we want to start printing copies of Audio Geek as well. So 9,000 per month, 9,000 per month. Because that's all we can cope with, with the current thing that we've got. So how about we stop that now? Let's stop Antivirus Geek. I don't think it's going to do much more. So let's stop that. Audio Geek, let's give that a couple of months run through. Just see what happens. Right, is everyone bored? Everyone's just nodding off. Like, well, do you know what? Let's get a contract in. Let's get a little contract working while we're here. Oh, they want mediocre quality. Who wants really awful quality stuff? I'm really good at that. A logistics application. Expected quality bad. Yes. Now you are talking my language. Uh, how long have we got? One month. So we need to do it today 0.7 code units uh yeah apply it to the core team so we've got a grand for accepting the contract i imagine we are going to absolutely flood there's no where's hang on where are the pit where's where's the design person where is our, our design person where are you design person 
Oh no, don't say. <laughs> I'm going to be late. I just took a contract on. I'm going to be late. This is absolutely unacceptable. Okay. Uh, teams. Not teams. No. People. Staff. Uh, the, that one. Manage employees. So yeah, the manage employees button is represented by one person, which I do find a bit confusing. Right, you're the designer. Where are you? Are you on holiday or something? Whereabouts are you? Why are you not here? I'd like you to be here, please, so you can do the do the stuff. Do the computer stuff on the computers. And the art guy's not here. And that and that person's not here. Is everyone just on vacation? How do I find that out? How do I know if, if, are people on vacation? I've got no idea. Do you know what? Whatever. Let's just hurry time off. They can all just Do you know what? Because I love you all. You can all just you can all just go home for the day. It's absolutely fine. We've got nothing to do. We've got nothing to do because that contract thing absolutely collapsed because I'm stupid. There we go. And everyone can hopefully come back tomorrow. You can all be here. That'd be handy. Uh, right, those boxes are piling up though, so that's useful. Let's hurry time on until it's like eight o'clock at night. And then ship all those boxes out. That'll do. So yeah. Chug time along. Come on, get another box on there. Yay, there we go. Right, and call a courier. Just take all that stuff away. Hurry time on and bishy bash bosh. Right, okay. Is everyone back now? Yay! People are coming in to actually do some work. Right, okay, so. They're working on the Mook Pit Fang Logistics application. And we are... Oh, no, hang on. We might have to hurry it up a little bit. Okay, yeah, I think we... Oh, no, not a sign. I think we develop that, please. Uh, yeah, yeah, Diane Hall's not very skilled at that. Whatever. They don't really want super code. It's absolutely... Yes, all right. All right. They're not very good at it. Okay, pause. Uh, we can promote it. I think they've done that quite well. Uh, no, I don't... Oh, no, what did that say? No, I do want to promote it. Okay, yes, that's not asking if I want to do the tutorial. Okay, right, it's going to be, it's going to be, do you know what, six bugs, release, whatever. 11,300, there we go, I've got some money for it. Splendid. Okay, I think now it's time to stop producing, <laughs> stop producing all this because there is far too much. There is far too much. Desist, cancel this because there's just too much <laughs> and it's not selling, it clearly isn't selling. Call a courier to take all this kind of grot away. There we go. Go to the next day. And let's pause. So, yeah, we didn't make much money on that. We spent a bit... Uh, what was that? Last month? Did we spend a bit on licenses? Did we? Must be for the contract, one assumes. Uh, so we made a bit of money on a contract. Spent a bit of money on distribution. We made a tiny bit in sales, but not very much. Okay. So, what I'm going to do now is... I think we need to get more people. I think we need to get more people and create an office upstairs and stick all the designers in an office and all the artists in an office. So like up here, look. And all the marketers in an office. We can have them all sort of all out the way and they're all not talking to each other because that's how that's how offices work. What was it, the parking? No, the parking looks all regular again. Um, so yeah, well, I think we need more people and we need more stuff. We need to flesh out these offices a bit more. Now, somebody did say there are better tables. They said, oh, there's better tables available. Uh, where you can fit more things on or something, so you can have better teams. But I quite like the fact that, that those tables allow you to have a, a widgety thing on the desk, like a two-meter end table. Well, let's let's try this, shall we? Let's just put one... It doesn't really matter, because I'm just doing this as an experimental thing. Well, I'm just there, then. So can you then fit something on that table and one of these little gadgety things as well? One of these things helps, so like a drawing tablet or whatever. Yeah, I don't think you can fit them on the table. So you might be able to get better teams. You might be able to get more people around, a, you know, more people in a room or whatever. But the people that are there aren't working as efficiently as they could be, as if they had themselves a three-meter end table. Let's just pop one there. And you can put these on it. But you can't put those on it because, for whatever reason, it's not letting... Why are you not letting me put things on the tables? Okay, maybe you need a computer on the table. Okay. Uh, well, let's put it there. I would not want to work just there with a pointy edge on the edge of the computer. That's a very silly thing. Uh, this old computer needs a chair. Okay, that's fine, but can you put one of these things on the table? You can put those things on the table. Okay, right, I stand corrected. Okay, so maybe we could use the smaller tables. Environment, though, they're better. The big ones are far better. Do you know what? I'm going to stick to my guns. We're going to we're going to use the big ones. We're going to use the big tables because why the heck not? Why the heck not? Okay, so let's move you to just 
there. And also, if I was working here, I would I'd love a big desk like that. I would love a massive desk like that. My desk is more like this, but not with the nice curve to it. It's just rectangular. So it's not like that. It's, it's like two of those put next to each other. That's what my desk is like in my office. So there we go. Right. Uh, okay. So we need to... Let's just yeah, get rid of that. Whatever. Bye-bye. Sell. Sell furniture. Cheerio. Yes, I do. Uh, yeah. So let's flesh out these offices then. Let's put stuff in these little offices here. And then we can put like design people in. We can have an art office. Maybe the art office could be this one here perhaps. Because what we want is we want a team of people because I want to make something really exciting. I want to make like an operating system with a billion whizzy features and all the exciting stuff in it. And then people will buy it and we shall make millions and we shall retire to, I don't know, Jamaica and live on a beach or something. So what I want is, yeah, we're going to mimic... Because there's a lot of room in these offices now. Look, there's a bit of room here. We could put some more tables in this office, possibly. A bit like that. So mimic this office upwards. And I like the fact that it's big. I like the fact that it's got lots of room. It's nice and environmentally sort of pleasing for the people that are in the office. So yeah, I think we copy this. Copy those that up. And then copy it over to there as well on the next floor up. So that's good. And then we'll flesh out those rooms with these sort of tables and such like. So let's come back when that's done. It also gives me a golden opportunity to have a lovely bit of tea. So yes, we'll come back when all this is sorted. And there we go. It's all fleshed out. Look, there's things in the offices. Now, th these end offices are quite cool. The sort of the tower side offices look very, very good. I like those. These offices here, yeah, they're okay. That's all right. This office here is rubbish. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. These people have got to be very, very, very friendly indeed. So, uh, yeah, this is a bit of a teeny tiny office, but, you know, whatever. I'm not that bothered. I'll just stick anyone in there. So, we've got all these offices in. That's jolly good. Now, I'm going to have to try and figure out what we want to do. Also, I'm just going to check research. No, nothing to research. Good. Um, I don't know if it's time to take over, uh, take a, sorry, a look at this project management thing. So, it's allowing a leader to take over a development cycle by automatically designing new products and delegating work to specific teams. That sounds like something fun. But I might do that either in another part, the next part possibly, or I might do that after I've developed our new bit of software or whatever, because I want to develop something new. I want to develop a new bit of software that's interesting and good, because I think that might be quite fun. But I also... I need to. No, that's the wrong button. Um, I'm going to start moving our staff about. I'm going to start moving people about. So this, this here is marketing man. Oh, he, he's on his own, is he? So we need to employ another marketing person, I think. Two marketing people is probably a good thing. And then we can do double the marketing and make lots of money and all that kind of jazz. So let's get ourselves a new marketer. Uh, that looks about right. Let's just do the thing for that. And then let's crank that up to say there. Begin looking. Compatibility. Well, let's do it by skill, actually. There we go. Compatibility, good. Just there. But he's not as good at anything else. Uh, but marketer skill, he's very good. Whereas, uh, yeah, no, that's fine. We'll have you because you're actually good. Uh, yep, you can go. But you can go into marketing. Yes. Okay. And we shall hire Sebastian Gentry. Okay, so good. So he's hired. We've hired Sebastian. He can go into here. That's jolly exciting. Uh, so we need to give him some stuff on his desk. So you need a computronic device. We'll give you one of those little tree things. And uh, marketers have a phone as well. Right, okay. So he's sorted. So the marketing people can go in there. This is for programmers. This office is for programming people. I might move these guys around now. So you... I just got a raise. Did you? Did you just get a raise? Okay, good for you. I'm going to move you lots. Let's come out of build mode. Um, I'm going to move him from that machine. So let's unlink you from this machine. So how do I do that? Uh, I want you to be un unassigned furniture. Okay, so now you, Mr. Man, I want you to take your little sort of fancy pants drawing tablet thing and you can go into the art room, which is going to be up here somewhere so uh, yeah the whole ground floor is going to be programmers so they're all going to be programming on the ground floor this is going to be the designer room so we're going to have four designers so there'll be eight programmers four designers two marketing people maybe a couple of art people so yeah the art people can go in that room just there why not why the heck not so let's get them 
little drawing tablet thingies. One there and one there. Right, okay, so that'll help a bit. So you, sir, I keep pressing the wrong button. You can then be assigned to, say, uh, that computer there. So uh, assign furniture to selected employee. Hooray, is that is that good? Are you now going to move? Are you going to shifty? Do you move now? Yes, right, he's getting up. Okay, that's good. Right, you then, madam. You can then not be assigned to there. So let's unassign. Uh, do I need to click that? Unassign. Unassign furniture. Right, and then you can be assigned to this one. Because why the heck not? So let's do that. You can go up into that room. In fact, design... Yeah, no, we need four designers. Of course we do. We didn't do need four designers. I was thinking we didn't, but I think it's pretty wise that we do. So, assign that to you. Now, you've got a calculator. Is that the best thing for the design people? I don't think it is, is it? I don't think the calculators are the best thing for designers. I think they want to have... Uh, what do they want to have? That. An inbox, I think, is the best for a designer. Or possibly a drawing tab. In fact, a drawing tablet might be better. No, I think uh, I think an inbox is better for the designers. So let's get rid of all these calculators because they just came over because I copied stuff. So let's sell that. Yes, yeah, sell. And then let's put down inbox tray things. Yay, inbox tray things. Right, that's good. I'll take that. That's a splendid thing. Right, and then downstairs. <laughs> I press the right button. Uh, yeah, you've got one of those. So we'll delete that and that. I could have moved them around, but you know what? It's far easier to just buy the things again. And then uh, calculators. Programmer's best friend. Yep, yeah, and there. And you two have got calculators. Right, okay. So that seems to make sense. I've just noticed there's no door. There's no door just here. How, how long has that been like that? They have to go outside and come back inside to like, use the loot. Okay, that's not very good, is it? Let's put a door in. I haven't noticed that. How long has that door not been there? <laughs> How long has that been going on? There we go. You've got a door now, dudes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Has your one got a door? No. When did I take these doors out? What an idiot. What an idiot. Okay. Maybe, yeah. Let's put the, let's put the doors back in. Uh, where's that door? Uh, there. So it's kind of, yeah, it's there. Yeah, sorry about that, dudes. Yeah, I kind of took the doors out and didn't put them back in. That's a bit stupid, isn't it? Never mind. Now you can have actual doors. Right, good. So that will help. So now we want to employ more design people. So we've got two marketers who can go and sit in this room. That's fine. We've got four programmers. We want another four programmers and we want some more designers. We want four designers, I rather suspect, might be quite useful. So here goes. Hire employees designer let's pump the the money up let's put the salary up a little bit and then let's put that to the top eight grand or whatever yeah that'll do a designer specializing in different things oh i didn't look at the specializer oh no marketers don't have specializations do they i don't think yeah it goes away for marketers okay so a designer specializing in what uh what do you no wrong button what's your specialization in current only designer person lady What's your specialization? How do I work out where that is? 2D, it seems, and not anything in 3D. So let's get someone who's good at designing system. Because that might be good, I think. That's probably a good thing, right? So skill. Uh, yeah, compatibility, very bad. Oh, brilliant. Let's get Marie Romero. Uh, and you can join the core team. Uh, yes, that'll do. Okay, so we've got another person. Now let's get someone else. So hire employees, designer, again, all that kind of stuff. But someone that's good at network and crank that up. Okie doke, whatever. Skill, you look very good. Rosie Campos, good grief. Good Lord, you're very, very good. Yeah, I like you. No, we'll hire you. Uh, yeah, you can go into the core team. Yep, yeah, good, we'll hire you. And... The last one, oh, designer again, you think you might learn it by now. Um, what do we want? 2D, 3D, have we got someone that can do 3D kind of design work? Uh, too many windows, <laughs> too many windows. Right, okay, there. So no 3D design, no, 
No, no, no, no, no. Okay, right. So yeah, these any roll people are the new ones. And there's a little bit of 3D design work there. We haven't got much in the way of algorithm. No one can really do algorithm. So that might be useful. Have someone that can do algorithm, please. And begin looking and skill and... Oh, you're all a bit rubbish, but okay. You'll do, Sandra Hayes. Good job. So that's the designer office done. And then we want some more programmers. So we're going to want to go down a floor. Down a floor. We just move time on a tiny bit. Uh, yep. So if we do that. So they're all moving about. He should then go upstairs. Hey, there you go. There are people upstairs. Hello. Welcome to the new floor. This is very exciting. You're going back down the stairs. You're going back down the stairs. You're not assigned to that furniture anymore. You're assigned to the new furniture that I gave you up the stairs. Why are you going just there? No, no, this isn't your desk anymore. Get off. I thought I'd unassigned you from this. I thought I had strictly unassigned... I have. I've unassigned you from it. Why are you sat there? Go and sit at your desk. Go and sit at your desk, madam. Upper floor. Pick that. And then assign furniture to selected employee. Like that. And where's the where's the art guy? Where is the art man? Where's he got? Oh, he's just chilling out of the water cooler. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, you're cool. You chill out of the water cooler. That's good. I like that. Could you actually do some work now? Because you were there for quite a... Mm, I don't understand. I've unassigned them from these desks. Why are they hanging around in these desks? I don't entirely know. Let's have a look. Okay, it's nothing to do with the chair, is it? That'd be a bit weird if it was to do with the chair as well. Do I need to undo that now? So I can assign... Hang on a minute. So now if I pick you and then go upper floor and go, yes, that, that, that's yours. Does he now move? Does he get up and shifty? No. Okay, I'm really confused. I thought that was fairly obvious of what I just told him. And assigned him from the thing downstairs and assigned him to the thing upstairs. But okay... That's not really working. Okay, well, we need some more programmers. So whatever the case, let's get some programmers in. Here we go. So hire employees, a programmer. Let's up their wage because why not? Let's do that. Uh, programmer in... I don't know. How do we look at this? How do we look at the generic there? So what are we not very good in? We're not very good at coding system or 3D. Let's look at someone for system. So begin looking, skill, bibbly bobbly boo, Jennifer Wilson Koi Bass. Good name. Uh, yeah, well, hi you, you'll do. Uh, and are you good at lots of other things? You're all right at 2D and network and algorithm. How about you? You're, oh, you're quite, you're good at arty stuff actually as well. You're pretty good at art stuff. Not that I need that, but you are. Oh, look at you. They're very good. Dad, look at that. Okay, do we want that or is is koi bass but you're better let's hire you as well you've got normal kind of compatibility that's good and then we want to hire someone who special oh, for goodness sake programmer who specializes not in system but in possibly mm, 3d maybe we just crank that up begin looking skill bibbly but sun garrett is very good at 3d coding okay well, let's get you on board. You've got good compatibility, so you'll do. Then we want to do this again. I Am I doing this entirely wrong? I really don't know. I possibly think this might be a silly way around to do it, but okay. Um, we've got an audio person. We've got 3D. Uh, we've got some system people now. Probably need someone to do some algorithm kind of programming stuff. So let's do that. Begin looking. Skill... Anne Bates. Arnulfo Hahn. That's a great name. Uh, yeah, we'll hire you because you've got good compatibility. Okay, that'll do for now, probably. Uh, yeah, I don't understand this here. I don't understand why they're not moving around their desks. I'm a bit befuddled by that. Uh, okay, well, let's speed time to the next day. I don't think... Is there anyone even in? Everyone's in. They're just not doing anything, which is probably not very good use of my time. Also, there's a helicopter flying overhead. Right, hang on. Let's wait for the helicopter to go away. Okay, there we go. It's gone. I possibly should clarify that I meant the helicopter is in real life, as in it was flying over my house. 
Not it's not in the game. There's no helicopter. Well, I don't know. There might be. I haven't come across any helicopters in the game as of yet. Okay, well they're all sat about doing nothing. That's fine. I'll just leave them doing nothing for a while. Hopefully these guys will then move up the stairs and then. Then, yes, I don't quite know what to do next. I'm going to develop a new bit of software, but I need everybody in. I need everybody in the office to come and do that. So let's just speed time on whatever. A bit of a wasted day, but that'll do. Right, joink. There should be lots of people in now. Lots and lots of people. <gasps> there are. Right, are you two at your de- <sighs> No, <laughs> I don't think they are. No, he's gone into it. I don't understand. I know the art guy's gone there. Where's the design person then? There's two people in here that I don't think. You're a marketer. Uh, okay, yeah, you go down here. This is yours. This is your... Th Whoa! With a shiny light of gloriousness. Right, that's yours. So now, do you then move now? Do you get up and move? I think it takes them until the next day to actually do something, which is a little bit weird. But I think everyone should be fine. They don't necessarily... Because they're all in one team. They're all in the core team, except... The marketer person. You could do with moving marketing person. Go downstairs or something. Uh, they get annoyed, don't they, if, they, if people walk around their offices and stuff and interrupt them. But whatever. Okay, we need to develop some more software. I think that's what we need to do. We haven't got anything else to do. The stocks thing is very confusing. I don't really understand that at the moment. So uh, contract work. Yeah, I don't really want to do that for a day. Let's develop something. So we've got some programmers. We've got some design people. We've got stuff that could work. So we could make an operating system. However, what is coming out soon? Where's the upcoming releases? So, uh, yeah, release dates. So we've got Desk 8. So we've got some Office software. Uh, <laughs> Gun Show in Heaven 2. That sounds great. Anti-Sniffer Remover 2. That sounds very unpleasant. Oh, it's antivirus. Right, okay. 3D to audio tool operating system coming out in 88 so what is there a gap for in there uh there is there's a gap against there's a finance cms coming out in may 87 could we do better than that and a workflow cms in december 87 and then a financial cms again in 88 so there's going to be a few cms things coming out some games audio tools 2d editors 3d editors um, okay, there's nothing really that... There's no great big gaps in what we've got, is there? Game engine, possibly. Could we make a game engine like that? And stick those things in? 100% interest, less than a year. Uh, okay, so we pick a 2D editor. That could be very interesting. That might be a useful thing to be able to sell. A game engine. There's none coming out. Doesn't look like there's any being released. So we could do that in less than a year. See how that does. Yeah, the game engine coming out there. When is... When's that? Fringe Cell are making the Fastness View Engine in December 98. That's two years. Surely we could beat them to a decent game engine with all these fancy pants whizzy things on it. I think that's fine, isn't it? Yeah, let's do that. So, uh, operating systems then. So now we can pick it by user. We should have licenses pretty much done I would have thought because we've bought licenses for lots of these things do you know what let's buy a couple more why the heck not that's another whatever hundred thousand people ish so that'll do so we'll put it on all those we'll pick a 2d editor which has got the most users and is also probably good so great yep yeah, that'll do we'll pick that vector and we'll do all this other stuff so uh, yeah original ip and here we go Source control management thing we can put onto server zero. I don't know how that's going to work at all. Game engine category. Yes, it's default. Great. Glad that just cleared everything. Yay. Yay for clearing things. All that stuff's in. Okay, we need to give it a, a name. Uh, game engine geek. Because I'm really imaginative. It's going to core and develop. Shall we do that? Is this a good idea? Three designers, five programmers and one artist. 100% interest. That's a silly price. Let's make it 55.99. There we go. I like making things 99. Uh, that'll do. Right, develop that. Uh, would I like to begin the design work tutorial? Not now. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's move time on. 
Now we need to do this. Um, there are too many teams in one of your rooms. Yes, I know. And I keep telling them to move and they're not moving. So I don't know what to do. Right, mark it. Let's pause it a sec. Press release, all those things. Marketing team can write that. Yes, okay. So he's doing his thing. Yeah, look, I, I want you to move. Please go away from this machine. Please move. I don't know what to do to make you move. I know you shouldn't be just there. And I've asked you to go downstairs, but I don't know how to force you to go downstairs. I've told you down... Oh, goodness me. If I get... Look, that's what you're assigned to. You're, it even comes up. You're assigned to that. Why are you not doing that, you silly man? Right, you're a design person, are you? You are any role. Oh, no. Right, we need to go through and sort out all of our different people, don't we? So I don't want this to be doing any role, because that is bad. So you, uh, your role is uh, not take any job. Uh, can we right-click on you like that? Okay, yes, good. Uh, change employee role, marketer. Splendid. You, you're a designer. So change your role to be a designer. You are also a designer. So we'll have you... You are a designer of algorithm stuff. stuff so that's good. You could be designer. I think the last four programmers, weren't they? So you're a programmer. You are a programmer. You are a programmer. And you and Bates, you are also a programmer. Okay, so four programmers. So everyone now has a role. And now I should be able to click on people and kind of go, ah, right, yes, yeah, so you're a designer. So, yes, I want to assign you. Uh, now, what? who are you? Why are you thinking that you're assigned to those there? What? Uh, no. Why do you believe you're assigned to those and those? No. An assign from those. Uh, an assign to selected... Oh, I'm really confused. I don't know why when I click him it comes up with both really confused i don't understand why is it doing that why unassigned furniture yes okay do maybe i don't need to click the, the that I'm, i don't understand i'm really confused i don't understand uh okay you can stay in there right you go to there and there that's where you're ass assigned furniture to selected employee are you going to get up and move no no, you're not going to get up and move. Even though I've assigned you to this, you're going to sit in this seat. You are very, very silly. And you two are walking in perfect unison. And you look very similar as well, which is a bit weird. Now look, this person is so much better when the other person gets up and goes out the room. Okay, fine. Uh, okay. Are you all design people? Oh, this is very confusing. This is very confusing. Nobody's going to their assigned desks. I don't like it. I like order. I like having like... Right. Programmer room and design room. I don't know quite how you do that. Can you assign a room uh, to... I had selected rooms to a group. Auto assign computers in rooms to ah, core or support or marketing. Okay, so now do I have to start getting clever with teams? Because when I was... It was just me and it was small. Core was fine. But now do I need design and programming and marketing and art? I think that is what we might do. That's going to be a thing, isn't it? So uh, there were teams here. So we've got core. We've got support, which I'm not so bothered about at the moment because we've got nothing to support. Let's create design. Let's create the design team. And then let's create the art team. <laughs> okay, so support. We're not bothered about marketing. And then programming. Programming team. Right. So now I'm going to have to go through each person, am I, and move them around? Uh, okay, can I pick multiple people? Can I say, like, you and you and you and you? Your, all four of you are now in... How do you move teams? Where's teams? Where is teams? Change employee... Switch team! Okay, you're on the design team. Bosh. Okay, right, let's move all these people over there. So you two are in marketing... So you're a programmer. You're all in the programming team. So let's do that. Uh, I am also a programmer. That's jolly good. Switch team. So out of core into programming. Okay. Artists. 
Right, who else is left then? So the artist is left in core. Oh yeah, we didn't get another art person. We need to employ another art person. So uh, switch team, take you out of that, put you in art, which is good. So yeah, so the art people can work on that now. And then we want to get ourselves another arty person. So let's get another artiste who can be good at uh, what? I don't know. <laughs> what can the artist be good at? I've only got one art person. He's very good at all of it, so whatever. Fill your boots. 3D, that's up and coming. That'll do. Bosh. Uh, put that up a bit. Begin looking. Skill. That'll do. Compatibility, there's no one in there. So let's put him with the art team. What's your compatibility with that person? Great. Yep, you'll do. Uh, La Moises Lara. Is that the right way round? I thought it'd be Lara Moises, but no, Mo Moises Lara. Okay, fine. You're employed into the art team. Rock rock on. Fill your boots. Uh, where are you? Oh, no. You're any role. Right. So switch your team to art. Uh, oh, no. Any role, of course. What a spoon. And you are an artist. So now the artists are doing art. The designers are designing. The marketers are marketing. The programmers are programming. It's all good. It's all gravy. This is all absolutely fine. And in no way is it going to go horribly, painfully wrong. Okay. This room then. Select add selected rooms to a group. No, I didn't want to do that. I want to auto assign computers to the programming team. Auto assign computers to the programming team. Auto assign computers to the marketing team. Upper floor. Auto assign computers, these ones in here, to the design team. Auto assign those computers. Auto assign to the art team. Okay. And all the others should. Can I pick three rooms at once? Can I do that? Auto assign that to. Oh, nothing. I don't want those to be auto assigned to anybody. And does that mean they're all going to get up and move? Or are they all just going to stay entirely sat down? They're just completely ignoring my commands. Okay. Can the designers please get on with designing? Oh no, right, hang on, pause, because of course they're not doing it, are they? Because now I've got to assign that to the design team. Right, okay, now that should be better, so there should be some design work going on all day. The marketers are doing the marketing, the designers are doing the designing, the programmers are just getting a little day off, that's absolutely fine. Um, I'm not so bothered about that, programs can sit about, because once we've done this game engine thing, I think we might go and do something a bit bigger and a bit more interesting. Uh, okay... Why can't I fast forward to the next day? Ah, wee, there we go. Oh, whatever you all want raises. Yes, yeah, someone's signed in. Uh, someone's called in sick. Unacceptable. Right, let's get Game Engine Geek done then. So let's go through. Let's get the design bit done. Will that be done by the end of the day, possibly? Okay, so now let's pause it. So we want to then... Uh, we want to mark it. Do you want to do a market? I see somebody said, oh, do some hype. Do some hype. I don't I don't know how to do hype. So it'll hype your product to see if it goes, but I don't know how to to just press OK. Oh literally you just I thought there was an option to click in that giant white box. Oh okay, right. Well let's release the press release because that's our 12 grand spent on it. You haven't announced a release date yet. Oh, I don't know. When's the release date gonna be? How long have we got to make it? Project details. Uh 22 and a half code units. What did it say? Less than a year, wasn't it? What about, why don't we say, to be safe, because it'll probably go wrong, January 88. Let's do that, shall we? Mark it, January 88. That gives us all of 1987 to design this flipping thing. Yes, I'm absolutely sure, because we've almost designed it, so that's good. Now let's release that. So a press release has been mentioned, so that's good. And then we want to hurry that along. We want to get... So it's got 680-something files. Right, pause, 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 pause. Right, it's outstanding quality. Now let's develop. So it's gone into alpha mode. The followers are still growing. So now it's hyping. So we're currently not losing followers. That's good. That's a good thing. Right, flip to the next day. And the design people are now supposed to be doing this. No, now reassign to the programmers. Right. Now the programmers can get on with doing the programming units. Uh, can we also have assigned to the art guys? Because there's some art obviously that needs doing. 
So let's do that. Our computer is getting very slow. In fact, do you know what? Let's call lots of people. Let's call those two people. Get people to do lots of cool things and come out and maintain all our stuff. And, oh, there you go. I've called a maintenance person. <laughs> so, yes. Good. That worked out quite well then. Okay, so programming and doing that now. How many... How many things did it need? Two and a half art units. That's fine. And 22 and a half code units. Okay, I think we'll be fine. I think we're going to be fine doing this. So now let's bosh that on. Bibbly bobbly boo. You're losing nine point... Losing ten followers a month. Well, you're not doing your job right, are you hype people? Um, okay, no. We needed to go on a bit further than that. It needs to be a bit more complete than that. Uh, so let's wait until the end of this day I think if it hurries up yeah let's go to here then but no let's wait to the end of this day as well let's get to the end of this day I like the fact that the trees go pink that's very nice uh people have called in sick and stuff's happening and everyone's calling in sick uh okay yeah losing 22 percent of followers but that's fine right hurry it along to the next day please hurry it along bish bash bosh and Boom. Right, okay, pause. Now we want to do marketing. Market with all that kind of jazz. The marketing team can do that. And then, how many was it again? 22 and a half, two and a half units. Okay, yeah, I don't think we want to do that just yet. The game, the quality of game, Engine Geek is diminishing fast. Koi Bass is not very skilled in audio code. Who's Koi Bass? Who, who is Koi Bass? Why are you not skilled in audio code? Oh, God. That one, Koi, Koi Bass, Koi Bass. Well, don't work on the audio bit, then you don't work on the system bit or something, you wally. Why are you working on bits you're not very good at? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't get it. Okay, so at the end of this day, more or less, I'm going to release one of the thingamabobs. I'm going to do that to just there. An employee is stressed. Well, they can get over it, can't they? Uh, let's mark it. Let's do a press build. Let's do a press build because it's kind of all right at the minute. 22 and a half. So it's over halfway there, which is good. And the art is pretty much finished. So yeah, it's looking good. It's looking good to be finished and particularly on time as well. Right, Bosch. So now it's got an awful lot of followers. Oh my goodness. It's got lots of followers. Okay, that's good. Uh, and then we can hurry time on. The programmers can frantically program. The marketing people aren't doing anything. You're supposed to be hyping. You're supposed to be hype, hype it up. Yes, alright, I'm not losing followers. You're not gaining many followers. Oh, they're rubbish hype. Okay, so the followers are going up. An employee's stressed. I don't understand. Yes, whatever. I'm not bothered. Whatever. Go to the restroom and have a little sit down. Go to the loo or something. Have some time off. Jeez. Okay. Don't understand why the people, if someone's not very good at audio code, don't code the audio bit. I don't get it. But okay, that's looking good. Now let's release the press release. And then let's boost that up. And then roll it on to the next day. So 29,000 followers and growing, which is good. Oops, some inventory broke and needs maintenance. Call maintenance. Right, run that on. Let's get this finished. Let's just get this ready to release, shall we? Let's get Game Engine Geek ready to release and see how it goes. Okay, so the game itself is nearly ready to release, but our followers are absolutely plummeting. I don't know what they're doing. They're doing some terrible hyping. Let's not pause the hyping. They're doing some rubbish hyping, so I don't know what they're doing. But yeah, this is what confuses me. I've obviously done lots of press releases. I've done, what, two? And then the followers just come down. So do I do them too early or do I do them too late? Or what? I don't really know. This bit doesn't seem to really make any sense. This is a little bit confusing, but okay, fine. So we're losing lots of money. We're out of 1.3 million now, so we do need to get this finished. So the art is done, and the code units are flying up. So we need 22.5 code units. Right there. So we've now achieved the goals. We've got 22.50 code units and 2.5 art units. So we could now, in theory, promote this up into bug fixing stage so yes let's get it out of alpha so that will do i think 22 and a half code 2.58 art that's good because it's already october we've only got two months ready to release it so we need to do all the bug fixing and stuff so yes promote it out of there that's good and then let's go to market let's send out a press build like that so we'll do that now 
see if that works. And then we can fix bugs for a couple of months, which is good. So 22, 23,000 followers. Right, okay, now hype it up properly, you silly people, and get on with it. Right, so let's fix loads and loads and loads of bugs. Let's get all those bugs done and fixed and sorted. And then also, let's get it reviewed. Reviews are any... Oh, okay, fine, never mind. So possibly I should have reviewed it before then. Never mind, whatever, I'm not that bothered. Oh, inventory's broke. Inventory is broken. Let's hire a maintenance person. There we go, maintenance person is on the way. Right, okay. Let's hurry this along then. So now we want to have another month. I think, what if we release it early? What if we release it early? Because the followers are going to come down again soon. We're on 27,000. If we... Why can't I not... I want to move to the next day. Go away, maintenance person. Accept all and close. Yeah, whatever. Two, another two grand a month. That's right. We don't want to make any profit. Okay, so we're losing followers again. We're losing followers. We fixed 102 bugs. If we release it early, is that bad? Is it bad? I think that's fine. Print. Can we make our own stuff now? Do we want to release it first? I thought we might have needed to release the game for the game, the thing, the game engine. Uh, yeah, we fixed 102 bugs, 28,500. Yes. Uh, yes, I want to start a marketing campaign. Budget, none. Uh, I want to actually make my own copies of that, please. Thank you very much. So, game engine gig. Let's uh, start printing. Start printing. Is it already printing? Did it do that for me just then when I did the thing? It's already printing. Okay, so it's going to print many copies. Okay, so let's see what happens. So they should go into support mode. Ah, now, pause. Nobody's doing any support. There's no active users. Now, we need to assign this at the minute to the programmers. So I believe they do the support work. So the marketing guys are absolutely furiously just marketing. They're doing some supreme marketing work. Okay, and they're printing the things. So and now we just want to wait as long as we can to get these boxes out. Just to get every last one out. There we go. I think we can't really leave it much longer. By the time the courier gets, there'll be nine. So there we go. Pull the courier. Speed time on. He picks up all the boxes. Let's see if it worked. No. <laughs> no. Uh, it's been a while since you released a product of type 2D editor. And your fans are noticing. Oh, are they? Oh, good. We made 64 grand in sales. It cost 20 grand to distribute. We spent 20 grand on marketing, so already we're 40 grand on expenditure to make 64. We paid the bills, and then the rest of it was just too expensive. Oh, man. Okay, that didn't work at all then. That worked somewhat miserably. Let's see what happens the next day. Let's just let this run through for a day. Programmers can do the programming. They can do some bug fixes and things. We'll keep on top of it. Look, this is very good. This is good. Keeping on top of bug fixes is a good thing. Right, run through to the next day. Yay! We actually made some money. 213 grand we made. Yes. Right, and now... Oh, there's some research. Audio tool. Audio compression unlocks 1988. It is 1988. Okay. Shall we research that? The Who's better at researching? I don't know who researches things. The programmers, maybe? Yeah, okay, do that. Uh, you're still marketing that. We need to call a courier to come and do this stuff, to take those things away, which is good. So the courier can come and take those things away. You can support. You can do some research. But I don't know how... Oh, it's quite slow, isn't it? It's very slow. Okay, fine. A uh, computer is getting slow. Okie dokie. Okay, right. Let's just let's hurry this along. Let's get to the next day then. And just see how much money we make now from this next batch of things. We need to call another courier to pick up those boxes. So let's see how much money we make on the next day. Let's see if it's an absolute big bag of cash or not. Why can we not go yet? Who are you? Who, who are you? What are you doing? You're an IT person. You're at work going to repair something. Can you go away? I want to speed up. <laughs> go away! What? Why are you there? Oh, and we lost loads of money. Okay, it's been a while since we released a product of type 2D editor and people are noticing. Okay, fine. Well, there we go. So we've released a, a game engine thing. It didn't, it's not really made the money that I thought it might, to be perfectly honest. It's not made that much money in terms of the effort that we've put into it and the wages we're spending and such like. Uh, there's something weird going on here with there's two cars in one car. It's a bit weird. Don't like it. That's a cool car though. I like the car, I just don't like the weirdness. So, uh, yeah, okay. What I'm thinking is, what I'm thinking is, I think we'll come back. 
we'll have one more part of this because as much as I enjoy it, I, I do find it quite complicated. And to go through a complicated thing while I'm also talking like this and rambling and going on about it is quite hard for my brain to sort of wrap itself around, which is why I sometimes look at things and go, what? I don't understand what's going on. Why can't I assign people to things? So what I think we'll do is we will just come back, have one more part. I just want to mess around with this thing, with the project management thing. And I think we'll be done. I think we'll get the idea of the game by that point if we haven't gone bankrupt by then because I need to actually make quite a lot of money very, very soon. So we'll mess around with the project management thing next time. And then that probably will be be it. So hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like and please do subscribe too. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. You can be the last accounting office. City tax offices. Boo! Tax man. Yeah, you look busy. Is it a quiet day at Bedrock Insurance, is it? Is he going to use the stairs or is he going to be a lazy beggar? Yeah, you lazy ass. And all the lights are on. And I noticed that everyone has left their lights on. I'm paying for this electricity, you gets.